That's so crazy sounding, dog. What up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros, and today, folks, so many people have asked for the new Stinger Missile 3, the bat that will replace this one that was too hot. It got banned, the Stinger Missile 2 from last year. I think this got all the way up to our number two overall ranked BB Core bat. There's some really good bats this year, but we'll see if the Stinger Missile 3 is as good as the two. Let's get it. All right, so we'll give a full look at both bats here just to make sure everything, the shape is the same. We have the same uh, knob and grip and taper here. Same barrel shape, it looks like. We'll throw the barrel rings on there. The only thing is that they said this end cap was having a few durability issues, so they just have a new kind of slimmer design right there. And very importantly, they kept this 270 bucks. Love to see it. Much respect to these guys for keeping their prices low. So uh, let's try this out, folks. I hope it is the same thing. All right, barrel profile. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, exact same. So we'll start off just setting a baseline with the regular missile two, both 33s. Make sure it sounds the same and everything. Get the crack and bat grip on here. And big dimensions today, folks. We have 400 to center, 375 in the gaps, 320 down the lines. Here's the bat bro scale for the missile two as is. Really high score. The only thing I would complain about is uh, it rings you up if you don't catch barrel pretty accurately. Small sweet spot but it kind of makes up for it with really good pop and a super, super light swing weight. So missile two, let's see what we got. There's that sound, baby. I miss it. That ball's hit so hard. Oh, what the heck? That sounds ugly. I've had actually a lot of people like complain about it. Like, dude, the Stinger missile sounds like it's broken. It's supposed to sound like that. Yeah, dude, this ball's hammered. Even that is ringing my hands a little bit, dude. Yeah, it's really bad towards the hands. That's the biggest issue with this bat. It's like kind of sneakily a power hitting bat because you have to hit it out here. You really have to get the barrel out front because even off the end, the end is better than the hands for sure. And that's weird for such a light swinging bat. Like that. Ah. Yeah, baby, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Yeah, oh, that's so far out. There's one spot on this barrel that I legit, like, am suspicious about. That jumps off like a beaser, dude. Mm. <laughs> Bro, what? Man, that's that, not out, but that's that not a line. Jumped that jumps. That jumps. Yeah, that hurt my hands, dude. It still really flies, but the sweet spot is not great on this bat. Ow! Yeah, dude, what I'm finding with this bat right now, and it kind of makes sense with how the bat row scale looks, if I catch barrel, it absolutely freaking launches. It's just like, even in BP, I'm having a hard time finding that perfect, perfect barrel. Oh. Yeah, it is all contact point with this. Have to catch it out in front. Man. See, like that, that, that pitch is like out of the equation. Oh, dude. It's more of an issue than I ever realized. Dare I say we overrated that bat a tiny bit just because yeah. it's so dependent on contact point. Yeah. Very all or nothing bat. All right, folks. The world premiere of the Stinger Missile 3. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. That was barrel. That was absolutely hammered. Okay, absolutely feels the same. It's duller. Huh. So the end cap did change, and I know for a fact that end caps can really affect the sound of a bat. So that could be it, because it does sound a little duller almost. Yeah. Man, it sounds nerfed. Like, I hate to use that word. But that's... It sounds dampened. It really does. It, it sounds more like a wood bat. Almost like a composite bat with that crack. Ooh, yep. Yeah, off the hand, still hurts. And still really flies, dude. Main thing with this bat, you just can't let anything get deep. You really have to catch it out front. It's like... It's really just a power hitting bat kind of in disguise because it's light. Ow! <laughs> Freaking hurts, dude. Well, touched. 
but really hard. That's it pretty dang well, bro. Yeah. Oh, right on the fence. Caught a tiny bit hands, but I'm, especially because it's cold, I can really tell I'm a little bummed by the sweet spot and kind of how small it really is, especially after swinging the Atlas a bunch recently. Yeah. That's the best hit ball. See, that feels like... Oh, that was hit really hard. Really hard. <laughs> Freaking rings, dude. Oh, that sound, dude. That ball was hammered, bro. Yeah, it sounds different. The sweet spot is a little alarming. Like, compared to these two bats, I would probably say the missile has the tightest barrel out of all three. And when the missile came out last year, it did really well in our rankings just because the light swinging one piece BB core market wasn't that saturated. Like the Cat X, for example, didn't even exist yet. But now we have a light swinging one piece alloy that's decently forgiving on the hand. So I want to take some hacks with this and see if the missile is kind of on this level because this has been kind of a game changer for us. Swing weight similar. This is lighter. Like, okay, that's deep on the hands. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't that's like a big difference, honestly. If it hurts in BP, that's gonna hurt a lot in live pitching. See, that's even caught a little deep on the hands and it feels great. Yeah, really jumped as well. It just does so much mentally when you know a bat's not gonna ring you up. It really does. It really changes the swing mentally, I swear. Missile two. I feel like I have my hardest hit ball with the missile too, honestly. Yeah. That one ball came off ridiculous. That was stupid. Yeah, I just, I, this is easier to hit with, dude. It's easier to swing all around. So the swing weight's the same. That's a way more forgiving and enjoyable hitting experience. This is hotter. This is a hotter bat. I really do think so, especially the missile too. One more. That's so crazy sounding. It's a little different, I swear. No, it's for sure different. Like, you listen to this. Like, it, see? Yeah. And that freaking jumped off better. Yeah, that's absolutely hammered. It got nerfed a little bit. I, it legit feels like it. Yeah. Wow. We'll see what the hit track says, bro, but that's my honest that's opinion. That's a noticeable difference. Yeah. What do you got? this cat x yeah i feel sad dude i was really rooting for this thing i low-key though I... how much is that 270 it's 110 dollars cheaper than the cat x personally i think 100 dollars is not a big enough difference i'm spending the extra money i am All right, folks, moment of truth. Maybe I eat my words here, but uh, we're gonna get one good perfect perfect with the 33 inch Stinger Missile 2 and see if we can maybe match it with the Missile 3 here. Ooh, that was pretty good. 1027. That freaking hurt my hands for 1023. That is ridiculous. That was the spot, 1064, 435. That's the furthest ball I've ever hit on hit tracks with the beat board. All right, <laughs> we've got a, a high ceiling to beat here. 99-1. That's pretty dang good, 102-2. That's freaking it. I mean, that, that's hammered, don't get me wrong. That ball's absolutely touched, but we're down almost two miles an hour. Okay, one more. It's not there. I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna be better. Me too, dude. I feel like, I don't feel good about that. I don't feel good about that at all. Like, I, I really freaking wanted to hype that thing up, bro. I love what they're doing, but. All right, folks, so to be clear, uh, the Missile 3 
very, very hot bat. That thing's still electric. However, looking at the VLOs, the average VLO, the max VLO, it looks like the Missile 2 indeed may have been too hot and that the Missile 3 was nerfed a little bit. At least the version of the Missile 2 we have right here, this 33 inch bat. One of the hottest BB cores, if not the single hottest BB core bat I've ever hit with. Couldn't help but kind of wonder how it was so hot and now it kind of makes a little bit of sense. So then looking at bat bro scales and how we're gonna rank this, if I could do it all over again with what I know now and how hot this bat really is, this would be like the one situation where I go past 10 and give this thing an 11 on the power scale, but I think it's actually worth it to decrease the sweet spot score from a five to a four and then keep the swing weight at an eight. Because the Voodoo One has a five sweet spot for us, the Cat X has a six sweet spot, the Bone Saber has a five sweet spot, and out of those four bats, I think these two definitely have the most unforgiving barrels. It's not really like a lot of light swinging bats where the sweet spot's down towards the hands more. It's definitely almost more of a power hitting bat where you have to get that barrel out front and hit it a little bit towards the end. So for the Missile 3, it's definitely gonna take a hit in the rankings because it's not quite the bat that the Missile 2 was. And there's just a few more bats in the BB Core space this year with a light swing weight that still have kind of a forgiving barrel. I think the Voodoo 1 does a little better job at that even though it's not that durable, but especially guys, I'm telling you, the Cat X and the Atlas are gonna be the one one two punch this year as of now this just has a little bit too much of an unforgiving barrel for us to justify it in kind of that top five range folks so there you guys have it if you like the video make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel you can head over to baseballbatbros.com to see all of our bb core rankings we've also got our merch over there as well as some U A rankings so we'll see you guys next time peace out